Sometimes when mating progresses to a certain point, it is more humane to shave a dog's coat than trying to salvage it. This is Maggie, a Bernadette Mountain Dog slash Puddle Mix, aka Bernadoodle. Maggie is being pre-shaved because of the matting she has. Pre-shaving is important whenever dogs are matted for a couple of reasons. It lets you get a clearer wash and it prevents the hair from getting tighter. Doodles come in a lot of the time matted, resulting in having to be shaved. Maggie's matting is tight, which is why it's coming out in a pelt. Pelting is where you shave a dog and it comes off in pieces. Using both of my hands and working carefully to make sure I don't nick her is very important during the pre-shave process. It is important I can feel her joints to ensure the clipper does not cut them during shaving. First bred in 2003, Bernadoodles are a cross between two pro-bred dogs, the Bernese Mountain Dog and Poodle. Whether on the designer breed registry, Bernadoodles are not recognized by the American Kennel Club. However, it is recognized by some other organizations such as the American Canine Hybrid Club. Despite being a designer breed, they unfortunately still do appear in shelters and it is courage to adopt before going to a breeder. They are bred to be perfect, loving companions for active owners and families with children, although early socialization can help them remain calm in new situations. The matted fur, in addition to not being used to the grooming process, generally makes the dog more anxious or aggressive. Maggie is sweet and well behaved despite her being matted. Most dogs that come in matted are infrequently groomed. Maggie comes in often, that is why she is well behaved. She just went a little too long between being groomed. Her mama loves her to death and understands that shaving her is the best choice for Maggie, so she is comfortable. Bernard Doodle coats can vary in here at more poodle-like or more Bernese coats. The thickness of their coat enables the Bernard Doodle to stay warm in cool temperatures while protecting them from heat in the summer months. They come in a variety of colors, either pro black, black and white, and black and brown. Some can even be tri-colored with black, white, and brown patches. The popular coat colors and markings for people seeking a Bernadoodle tend to resemble the tri-colored Bernadoodle's mount dog. Curlier Bernadoodle coats tend to be more difficult to groom because they shed less. They need to be brushed more to prevent matting. Some owners even brush their dog's coat daily. It is recommended they are trimmed every month depending on growth. Maggie turns around and looks at me, like, what the fluff? During the shaving process of a matted dog, it is very common for dogs to get hematomas and have other irritations on the skin like bruising and red spots. Many can also form hot spots because the skin cannot breathe properly. It is very important for me to pay attention to the blade temperature to not irritate Maggie's skin. Although happy around their family, Bernadoodles can be at first apprehensive, sensitive, and skittish around strangers, and it is important to socialize. They are at the happiest when spending time with their family, playing and cuddling. I'm gonna need a taller bar for Maggie. Bernadoodles are companion dogs and inherit the intelligence of a poodle and charming, happy-go-lucky temperament of the Bernese Mountain Dog. Bernadoodles can come in three different sizes, toy, mini, and standard and generally males tend to be larger than females. The size is determined by the portal parent, which can be any of the three. Generally, tiny and miniature Bernadoodles are more suitable for apartment life, while standards do better with a yard. My goal for Maggie's pre-shave is to get all the matting off and prepare her for bathing. With a variety of size options, Bernadoodles are a pretty adaptable breed for wherever they live. However, they do best for the yard where they can exercise and burn off energy. Now that Maggie is all clean and brushed out, we can focus on her proper haircut. In Maggie's mind, lady, I was already on this table today. Maggie's pretty laid back and you could tell this isn't her first time. Puppies, like with most dogs, they can be stubborn but grow out of this with age. The stubbornness trait is sometimes inherited from the Bernese Mountain Dog, which can make them difficult to train. They can also develop bad habits due to their intelligence. Like the Bernese, they can also develop apprehension to strangers. Now we're onto the scissor work and brushing out the face. I did have to take Maggie's cheek hair a little high to get the rest of the matting out due to it being a sensitive area to brush out. I'm still trying to give Maggie the teddy bear slash doodle head look, like her mom likes, despite the matting. Bernadoodles 
crave attention and are best suitable to a home where they are not left alone for long periods of time. Whether you're a family looking for a loving, smart, mixed breed, or a single owner, it's hard to beat the burner doodle. All finished! I can't wait to see Maggie again and hopefully we'll brush her coat out instead of shaving it. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Bye!